Well, hello again, and it's now, what, six o'clock. It's Thursday the 12th of January, and as you can see, Barney's not here. And that's because he's had to go to the vets again today, and we've had to leave him behind. Uh, it's all a bit upsetting, a bit worrying. But what's happened since I made my last video on Wednesday is that he's not improved since his last visit to the vet. In fact, he got worse. He's not been eating, and he's been vomiting up everything he tries to eat. So today, uh, we phoned up the vet again and said, look, you know, we've got to bring him back. And she said, yeah, bring him here straight away. Don't wait. I'll see him immediately. So we jumped in the car and took him there at four o'clock. And she gave him another examination. And the decision was that he really needs to have an x-ray to see if he has any sort of blockage in his stomach or, his, or in his um, intestines. And he's about to have his first x-ray, uh, which is going to happen round right about now and then we're waiting to hear what the result of that is, um, hopefully in the next hour or so. Now that's only the first stage. If they don't find anything um, on the x-ray, they're gonna give him some sort of radioactive um, tracer um, in his food, and then give him another x-ray in the morning to see if they can see any other sort of blockage throughout his system. And if they do find something, that means he's gonna have to stay in and have an operation to remove that blockage which obviously is very, is very worrying and it, you know, it's only a little dog, he might be 30 pounds in weight, but um, it's only three months old, in fact, it's three months old tomorrow. So that's quite dangerous for a young puppy like him. Um, and in fact, when he was weighed today, he had lost a pound in one day. So obviously there's something wrong there. Um, so we're just waiting now to hear uh, what the results are of the x-ray and I'll let you know when I hear something. Uh, well, hello again and it's now almost 8 o'clock at night, it's still Thursday, and I've just had the call to hear what's been happening at the vets. So Bonnie's had his first x-ray, and the good news is they've not found anything at all. And so the next step is to give him um, this special radioactive um, tracer in his food, and then keep an eye on him overnight, and so that tomorrow he can have another x-ray or some kind of scan, I'm not sure what it is, um, to see if they can find anything further. Um, that can't be done at a local vets, and so Barney's being transferred right now to a larger site nearby on the far side of town. And at the moment it seems um, he's going to be put on a drip to make sure he's hydrated. And they've got nursing care there the whole night long, so hopefully he's going to be okay. And hello again, it's now Friday the 13th, it's uh, just gone 2 o'clock, and we've just had some great news. Um, all the tests they've done on Barney have shown that he's got no blockage inside him at all. And so that's great because it means he doesn't have to have an uh, operation. Uh, what they've concluded is he's got gastroenteritis. So he's been given a drip for that and some tablets and so on. And we've now been told we can go and pick him up, which we're about to do. So I'll continue this video when we've got him home. Come here, lad. So he's looking a lot better now. He's really hungry at the moment, but we're not allowed to give him anything. He's just got to have two tablespoons full of some special, easy to digest food for the next day or so and we'll give him that once every few hours. And now you can see he's trying to gnaw off his bandage. That's just there to cover up where he had his um, intravenous drip. So I think we'll get that off him in a minute. Yeah, so no, you don't like it, do you? Come on, let's take it off. Yeah, that's it. Get his little bandage off. That's on there, I think, just where his uh, drip was. Yeah. His sedation. There we go, it's gone now. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, no, 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 no! Don't eat it. <laughs> Look at him, straight away. He's after it, straight away. Eat something Get shouldn't. out of it. <laughs> I, don't know. I think we'll have to take you out for a walk soon, lad. You're not doing that, you, you little monkey. Are you? You're not doing that. Oh, he's definitely lively, isn't he? Yeah, he's uh, awake now, isn't he? Yeah. And it's now Saturday morning, and as you can see, Bonnie's back here with me. We've just been out for a walk, he's still a bit dirty but he's also very very hungry because he's not allowed to have too much to eat right now we've got some very special food to give him and we can only give him um i think it's two tablespoons full every few hours so obviously he's actually starving but we've got to be uh firm with him and not let him have too much until we know his uh gastroenteritis has been cleared up but right now he's learned to beg at the food bowl which he's not done before so i guess he must be hungry but it's great to have him back you can see his Still not quite clean yet from his little trip out. Um, and now he's back to his normal self, almost anyway. Little tight that he is. And he's chewing on his little favorite chew stick once again. And I must say, we did miss him yesterday. And we were worried for him in case he had to have an operation or something like that, but thankfully he didn't. 
and in fact we've just been out for a walk now and somehow he's managed to lose his collar I'm not sure how so I had to carry him back from the park and believe me at 30 odd pounds he's not easy to carry these days so for the first time in his life Barney can't have everything he wants to eat and his food bowl's empty which it not often is eh? so he's constantly begging for food but he is very spoiled because not only does he have a food bowl and a water bowl he also has a third bowl for his tea What's that? And as you can see he likes tea, just like I do, so when I get a cup of tea he does too. Although of course I do water it down a wee bit to make sure it's not too hot for him. And he does like that tea. Like a good English golden retriever that he is. Yeah, you. And so after a long walk, Barney's now back here where he belongs. Getting a bit sleepy, aren't you lad? And I must say, although it's hard work at times, it's very good to have him back. Anyway, thanks for watching and cheers.